Hey guys, how you guys doing, man? As you can see, man, we are on the move. This is Jungle Legacy, Liberty, and uh, this is Brian over here. And we are leaving Ayamara's 30 days party. So, this video's title will be the reason why <laughs> we left Ayamara's 30 days party. So, if you want to find out the reason, you need to keep watching this video. I can tell you. This is very, very serious, and this is very, 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 very. It's a must watch. Important. <laughs> if you want to know the reason why we are leaving to Nairobi, the reason why we are leaving uh, uh, Yabohanze back to the city, kindly keep watching this video because I'm going to tell you everything when we get to Nairobi. If you're not subscribed to my channel, guys, please kindly subscribe as we hit 100,000 subscribers very soon. If you're not subscribed to Jungle Legacy, subscribe. please subscribe as we hit. 10k very soon. Yeah, yes. vegetation is here. Oh my yeah. god. Hapa, hapa. <laughs> Guys, we are headed back to Nairobi from the YouTube village of Kenya, Yabo Hansen. So. This place is called Sotik. Wow, this is beautiful, man. This is my first time passing this road. Since we missed that, we missed our road for a reason, <laughs> so we can see here. <laughs> Thank you, Brian. Excuse me. Hey, guys, look at this man, super dope. All oh, these are teas, actually. Oh my god. This is tea, man. It's like Kericho Promos. Oh my god. Wow, Kenya is so beautiful, man. The more you travel, the more you discover. You will need one thumbnail around this area. Uh, you will cut. Ah, Omo. There's no way to go, so. Just don't flex your muscles too much. <laughs> we have to look for a place. The, the road is narrow. Yeah, it's very narrow. We have to look for a place that has space the other side. Oh my god. This place is owned by Unilever, right? Unilever. Uh, uh, they think these are, they are, they are, they are, they are plantations. Yeah, Unilever, I think. Either but Unilever they, or other, uh, other companies. So those guys they own most of the most of the tea listed in Kericho plantations. Ooh, this is dope man. Guys, we need to go down to show you guys how amazing this place is. Welcome to Sotik. This is my first time actually being in this place. I got to cross over to this side. <laughs> this is my first time being here. And I can tell you guys, this is super amazing. Just look at this. Hey! My God, guys, if you're not subscribed to this channel, kindly subscribe because this video is about the reason why we left Ayamara's uh, 30 days party. If you want to find out, keep watching this video. To see how amazing Kenya is, man. The more you travel Kenya, the more you discover this is Brian over here. He's a new YouTuber. <laughs> and this is Jungle Legacy. Hey geez, guys, look at this. Look at this. This place is called Sotik. And this is my first time being here. I never knew that this place exists. But the more you travel Kenya, the more you discover more beautiful places. So that was a very nice stopover. Now let's continue down to Nairobi. 
if you want to know the reason why we are leaving Ayamaru's 30 days party, keep watching this video and uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Yeah, you see how beautiful Kenya is? I've never been to this part of Kenya. The more you travel Kenya, the more you discover beautiful and nice environment like this. This place just gives the vibe of Kiricho. But according to Django Legacy, this is, they are in the same, the same what again, sorry. Region. They are in the same this, region. The same region. region. Kiricho is in Rift Valley. Okay. Yeah. So this is it's still in Rift Valley. So they are in, on the same in the same zone. Tea farming zones. Wow. Yeah. yeah this yeah, one is, was just black the other day. So when this block is like this. Yeah. Oh wow. So they black and then they they cut some you know, over overgrown stuff so that they are all uniform. So they, they grow again. And they grow again. Oh wow. See, there's a kid here who's carrying firewood. <laughs> Only in Africa, man. We are brave. Brave like a lion. Brave like a lion. The room next. My bedroom is in Angaliana. We are going to the same. Yeah, we are sharing. We are going to share now. But they left yesterday. We are going to share now. But they left yesterday. Ah, okay. I mean, how are you going to share now? How are you going to share now? This, this might be his peak if he doesn't regret to get a male figure. That's the only way. Yeah, he needs to go. You can't be dealing with women and expect to be to get sense. Nigeria will call them one more me. <laughs> one more me in Nigeria. They avoid one more me pass anything. Those guys, their mouth wasn't closed. They talk anyhow. Like yesterday at night, they were. Well, go on a choma, nyama. You see what she called uh, T asked us. Say, please, you guys should go down there. We are about to put chama shama. This guy was telling me. The cousin was telling me that I was in Marwa, and this guy went to my ignorant place. Which is not my way. There's an event that did disorganized. By the time they came back, the thing has been postponed. Uh, they kept this Jamaican guy waiting for almost two hours. I trust that man. That man open my own. I say, Mara, change this engineer. You need to change this engineer. He <laughs> said? Yes, now he was telling Mara to change that engineer. Mm. The Jamaican man. That man doesn't send anybody. <laughs> if you want to be a YouTuber, be a YouTuber. Go get the engineer. <laughs> yes, yes, now he's, he's old enough to know to know enough. When we come back yesterday, the, the PM met me. You were like, hey, so, 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 so I can't. Hope you are good now. Nah, yeah, yeah. Was laughing. That laugh, that laughter is my own biggest problem. <laughs> she think it's funny. <laughs> she think it's funny. That's my problem. I hate insults, I do, I respect myself, but if you insult me, I have any small insults, forget about it. Especially from a woman, from a woman. Guys, welcome to Kisumu. Hmm. Head northeast on Okor Road, Seven. turn Okor Road. In 200 meters at the roundabout, continue straight to stay on Okor Road. What's going on? In 200 meters, turn right onto Omolo Agar Road. Night, night. So 
these people come to see their people here. Yeah. 200 meters, turn left. I hope they get justice. Can they get justice? Take hmm? the next left. <laughs> CBD. In 500 meters at the roundabout, take the third exit onto Mosk Road. In 50 meters at the roundabout, take the second exit onto Obingo Dingo Road. In 400 meters at the roundabout, take the second exit and stay on a Chang Moniko Road. Welcome back to Nairobi. Let's just do some laundry and uh, I want to just do something. I want to show you guys how how truthful Kenyans are. So in this video, I will be putting this 1000 Naira inside this pocket and I will give it away to the laundry woman. If she returns it back with this money, I'm going to double it for her. But if she takes it, she's there. So. Let's go do some laundry. The money, the money is here. And uh, I'm going to give her the cloth to wash. If she brings the money out, we double it. So, let me show you guys how truthful Kenyans are. So.
And this this cup, I want to watch this cup. This cup is uh, in my country, the chieftaincy cup, Igbo cup. <laughs> you have to be a chief to mm. have this cup. <laughs> You are a chief. Yes, I'm a chief son, so I'm a chief. <laughs> okay. So thank you so much. Okay. So how much is it cost? We are going to pay five hundred for all of them. Yeah. Well, but I want to take this in tomorrow evening because I'm traveling. Okay, you will get them. Okay. Yeah. Will it should be ready tomorrow too? Yeah. Okay. Asante sana. <laughs> so we just gave her the clothes and uh, inside one of the trousers. We put 1,000 Kenya shillings inside. And the cost of the washing the clothes is 500. <laughs> that is times two of the cost of washing the clothes. So if she brings the money back, I'm going to double the money and give her 2,000 Kenya shillings. So let's find out tomorrow. Wow, guys, that's the city of Nairobi. So for some of you who are still waiting for the real story of this video, why we left Ayamarua's party in Yabohanze. So let me tell you something. I'm very sure that that lady is going to return the 1,000 Kenyan shillings I put in my pockets. Because I just want to show you guys how genuine and uh, how trustworthy most Kenyans are. You know, when they tell you about Africans, Africans are this, Africans are that, you need to know this. That's why I'm making this experiment to show you that there are so many genuine people in Africa and you can find a lot of them here in Kenya. So, at the end of this video, which will be tomorrow, I'm going to show you if the lady actually returned my clothes with the 1,000 Kenyan shillings I put in the pocket or not. If she returned it with the 1,000 Kenya shillings, I, like I promised earlier, I'm going to double the money and gift her 2,000 Kenya shillings. Though her payment for the washing, uh, her payment for the washing of the clothes is only 500 Kenya shillings, but I put times two of that in my pocket. So, and I'm hoping, I have 99% conviction that she's not going to disappoint trust me that's because i've been in kenya for the past four months four to five months i've been dealing with a lot of people in kenya i can tell you there are so many honest people in kenya which is why i'm making this video to show you guys that so keep on watching this video because at the end of this video i'm going to show you the results she's going to deliver the clothes to me tomorrow evening as promised so guys this this train is going to yes <laughs> this train is going to kisumu wow it's going to kisumu i've been trying to use this train for the longest time hopefully one day one day that will be possible i think this is the the train that goes to Kisumu every weekend. I've been trying the longest time to use this train, but every time, every time I keep miss I keep missing it. So but I'm sure one day before we leave Kenya, we try to use this train from Nairobi to Kisumu. If you have any information on this train, when it leaves, and uh, how much and all the information, all the details, kindly comment below. Now, back to the video. Why did we leave Ayamara's party after four days? Four days. The answer is, you know, before I answer that question, let me tell you guys something. If you are a, a YouTuber, or if you are growing your YouTube and you wish to succeed in YouTube, I will advise you that you should actually attend Ayamaru's party. To me, I don't see it as a party. I see it as creators get together, more like meet and create. You know, when you are in the city of Nairobi or you are in any other part of the world, it is actually very hard to get people to collab with, to make videos with. And with, this is what the Ayamaras party offers you. When you go to Yabohanze, there are a lot, hundreds of creators every day seeking to, uh, to collaborate and to get featured in channels. So if you are planning to have collaborations, if you are planning to get content, because 
when you are in in Abohanze, there are unlimited contents because there are a lot of people you can feature and feature and feature so you have unlimited content to create when you are in Yabohanze. so if you are still thinking whether to go to Yabohanze or not i think you should quit thinking and start going there you know i can tell you personally my channel was built out of movie um bb ninja political comments and all those things but whenever i travel because the the audience in my channel are not travel audience i am most likely not going to get a lot of views whenever i post a travel video even though i have a lot of subscribers but that was why that was number one reason why i went to ayamara's party and i can tell you i have gotten nothing less than seven thousand travel uh, viewers which means whenever i put a video on my channel there are people interested in travel videos more like i've woken up my channel by uh, introducing it to travel video lovers and all these were made possible by um, ayamara honestly because with the multiple collab i've had with ayamara i've been able to you know to gain some of his international audience and one thing you need to know about yabohanze is for example there's what they call cpm in youtube cpm in the sense that that's a, the amount of money you make per 1000 views in kenya generally in kenya when you get 1000 views you're likely going to get below three us dollars but that same 1000 views in from us audience you're likely going to get as high as 15 to 20 us dollars with the same 1000 views so what yabohanze does to your channel is the cpm of yabohanze is different from the cpm of kenya i don't know if you're getting that if kenya cpm is three dollars for example though it's very hard to get three dollars it's always below three dollars but let us say if it's three dollars and you make the same video the same views from yabohanze which happen to also be in kenya you are if you have like one thousand views in yabohanze you are going to it's more like you're having a us uh, cpm i don't know if that is making sense because most of the people who watches videos from yabohanze are not kenyans are not in kenya most of the people who watch your video are mostly from uk us uh Maldives, all those countries with highest cpm those are the people that watches your video when, when you step your foot in yabohanze so being in yabohanze does not just grow your channel it also build your cpm to the highest number which means i had a video of my i made in yabohanze that got over ten thousand. when that video got ten thousand views i made as high as 350 us dollars from only ten thousand views if these views happen to come from kenyans or people or viewers from kenya i can assure you that that ten thousand views will not make a even up to 50 usd but because in yabohanze the cpm is so big is so large that is the reason why with just little view of twenty thousand views you are likely going to make as, as high as 500 usd for just twenty thousand views so i see no reason why you are in kenya or even in east africa if people from us people from uh, 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 um, Jamaica, people from all over the world are coming to Africa, coming to Kenya, coming to Yabohanze to meet and create. I see no reason why you, who is in Kenya or even in any country in Africa, are still sitting somewhere in your house chilling. <laughs> so, if you want to grow your channel, not just to grow your channel, if you want to actually gain strong audience audience who really watch your video from a to b from a to z you need to actually go to yabohanze 
the party is for 30 days is it is for 30 days and they still have more than 25 days to go from the day you're watching this video maybe from maybe like 23 or 24 days to go so if you can go there you don't have to be there for the entire party you can just go there and meet and create it's an advice and it's a business advice oh it's a business advice because youtube is a serious business yes if you're because in africa even in nigeria my country the cpm is too low let me give you this uh, illustration if uh, if oh, Chuka is making video for Nigerian audience or Kenyan audience and one of his video hits a million views a million views uh, and because it's a Nigerian audience with low CPM he's likely going to make as little as two to three thousand US dollars but if someone does for a million views if someone who is creating from Iabohanze, creating for audience, uh, for US audience or, U or Europeans or US uh, viewers, and you get uh, half a million views, that is like 500,000 views, you are going to make as high as seven to uh, 10,000 USD. Don't forget, Someone who is creating for Kenyan audience or Nigerian audience with 1 million views is making 3,000 USD or less. But you, who most of your audience are from the US or from the UK, you have uh, 5,000 views or 500,000 views, which is 50% of the views from someone who is creating for Nigerian audience or Kenyan audience. That person with that 500,000 views can make as high as 10,000 US dollars. That is over 70% of what someone with 1 million views is making. That is what you need to know about Yabohanze. Yabohanze is not just going there to create content and get views. There are so much more. Most of the audience who watch your videos in Yabohanze they are very ded they are dedicated viewers. They are likely going to watch all your videos, watch all the adverts. And people, because they are watching from this part of the world, advertisers are likely going to pay higher to advertise to them. They pay much more money to advertise to the US or UK or Maldives audience. But you, from Africa or Kenya, advertisers don't pay as much or as high as uh, they pay to the u.s audience so this is the hack if you actually want to grow on youtube as in not just grow but to have dedicated subscribers and also the business side of it if you really want to make enough money from youtube uh, i can assure you that Creating content for this audience is actually advisable and very profitable. You're not just going to Ayamara's party. This is not Ayamara's party. Ayamara is not having a party. Ayamara is empowering creators to meet and create. When you go to Yabohanze, what you see is maybe a day, Mara can make collab with like 20 people. Then, Individually, these creators, these little small small creators, like when I was in Yabohanze, I made collab with more than 100 people because as a Nigerian, I was more like a superstar. Yes, don't get it twisted. People always tell you things about how Kenyans don't like Nigerians. My brother, that is a lie. I have been to multiple places in Kenya and whenever they hear the, the accent alone or even hear that you're from Nigeria or Ga, you are being respected beyond what you can ever imagine. There's this joy of seeing Nigerian in Kenya. So don't let anybody tell you bullshit of uh, they don't like Nigeria. It's a lie. It's a trap. These guys love Nigeria. I made collab with more than 100 people. And 
though I have a, a, a quite number of subscribers, but that is nothing to me. When I was in Yabohanze, even if you have zero subscribers, I was down to make collab with you. If I have few advice, I'll give to you. I don't know much, but little I know, I will pa I pass it over. You know, because I said, information is sources, but who we trust you to tell you. So now I'm telling you, if you want to grow your channel and you're in Kenya, I don't see reason. Don't, don't think you're going to Ayamara's party. Go meet your fellow creators, collab, and grow your channel with dedicated subscribers. Not just subscribers, but subscribers who really watch your video from A to Z. Not just, before I used to make video, when I used to, when I, when I traveled to around within Kenya, making content for mostly Kenyan audience or Kenyans in diaspora, most of the, most of the time, when they, when they watch the video, uh, my retention time used to be around nine to 10 minutes. 9 to 10 minutes but since the day i went to yabohanze my retention time have skyrocketed by more than 70 percent most of my videos i make from yabohanze most of the retention time are mostly 21 minutes 20 minutes sometimes 25 minutes which means this guy sits down and watches your video from 1 to 20 something minutes do, do you know what that means? That means that for that 20 something minutes, they are going to be watching advert every three, three minutes. Every three, three minutes or four, four minutes, there's advert, which means by the time they finish, they, by the time they watch for 20 minutes, they have watched more than four or five different ads. That's what you gain by gaining dedicated subscribers. Subscribers who really actually support and watches your video. Who really watch your video, watch adverts, and adverts that really pays. You understand? So, you need to have this in your mind. Like I tell people in Yabohanze, this to me is not a party. This is more like Ayamara empowering creators to meet and create. Even most of the people there, you might not have the chance to collaborate with Ayamara because obviously he cannot collaborate with everybody. Though he try as much as possible to collaborate with every single person, but he's not uh, a spirit. He cannot do it all. So even even there are people there who haven't had the chance to collaborate with Ayamara, but there are many hundreds of creators that you can collaborate with. Which means if you're very serious, you can make as high as three content. Three content every single day in Yabohanze. So if you're actually thinking of growing your YouTube channel, not just to grow, but actually to build your YouTube channel for success, I'll advise you, if you're in Kenya or if you're in the nearest, I saw some people from Uganda, from Rwanda, from, of course, myself, Nigeria, so if you're in these places and you didn't want to take your youtube seriously kindly go go if you know go you know where i come from we say if you know go you know go no which means if you don't go you cannot find that you can't know so you need to go there meet with your fellow creators and uh, not just to collaborate but to learn Personally, I've learned a lot, even from, from those with 100 subscribers, from those with as little as two subscribers. I've learned a lot from them. So it's more like an educational masturbation. It's more like people are coming together. It's a meet and create, not a party. Go there, and this guy opened his mansion, his newly built mansion. So many people are sleeping there, free of charge. He offered me to sleep there, free of charge. They are sleeping bag, sleeping bags, which was donated by my friend, Jungle Legacy Liberty. You can check his uh, channel in the description below. You understand? So there are so many things, so many things, so many benefits. And whenever I go to Yabohanze, I save as high as 65% of my daily expenses. 
Imagine, I'm spending less and getting more. So, I don't know. For me, for the for the past, for the times I've been to Jabohanze, I've seen over five hundred percent success in my YouTube channel, and I'm sure you, as far as you go to Jabohanze, you go to Amara Meet and Create. I don't want to call it a party; it's a meet and create. Meet your fellow creators and create with them. The time I have been going there, I can tell you, I have grown more than five hundred percent than what I used to be. I've they have built dedicated well, subscribers, viewers, not just people who just view and go. People who view and look for how to contact you. I've gained a lot from people who see that, who want to support you, support your dream because making content, traveling is very expensive. Traveling is very expensive. So sometimes you don't, you don't get to uh sometimes the youtube revenue ad revenue is not enough to support your travels but when you build these genuine dedicated subscribers they are down to earth supporting you making sure you grow beyond your imaginations since i created a donation link with my paper which you can always find in my uh, description in every of my video i have been people just watch the video and the next thing 100 USD in your, in, your, in your paper. As far as you go there with genuine mind, with good intention, I promise you something. You are going to be surprised. You are going to be surprised with the number of supports you're going to get from these viewers. That I can assure you. I have no, I have, if I tell you how much how much assistance, if I tell you how much uh, of help I've gained from these wonderful subscribers of mine, these new wonderful subscribers of mine, which was made possible by Ayamarwa because I was bold enough to step my foot in Iyabohanze. It's a village, it's in Kenya, but I can show you someone creating a video in US is, and someone creating a village in Yabohanze, the deep village of Yabohanze, they are, if they are making the same amount of money because it's more like it's the same CPM, the same high CPM, because most of the most of the viewers are from this part of the world. So take my advice and you will never regret it. Most people who have advised to go to that place who went there with genuine mind. Who are creating with genuine mind with good intention most of them have called me several times to appreciate most of them they are, they are all kenyans but you have a lot of kenyan friends some are ugandans they have called me several times to show me how well their channels are doing and this you can also do this now back to the question of why i left yabohanze i spent four days out of the 30 days in the party because Kenya is, is like home to me and I feel like I'm getting too comfortable being in Kenya. It's not a bad thing, but I'm a traveler. So as a traveler, getting too comfortable in a place is not that good because your viewers are eagerly waiting to see new locations, to see new things, to see new cultures. That's why when I came to Kenya, I traveled to most of these places, Tika, Meru, Kisumu, eh, Mombasa, Diani, Kericho, uh, Kisi, uh, Embu, Meru, Nakuru, Edoret, um, Bita, Homa Bay, uh, Siaya, Kogelo, name them, Busia, I have gone to several places just because I know that my audience are on the move. They want to keep seeing new things. So I've, I'm, now that I've gotten a dedicated audience who are travel audience, I think it is wise for me to show them a new country, new culture, new food, new things. I'm very sure that most of my viewers will never miss a thing in Yabohanze because there are a lot of people 
over there making wonderful vlogs to show you what is going on there. You can keep up with Ayamarwa. Even despite how busy he is, he also draws videos every single day. So if you want to keep updated on what is happening, I'm sure there are a lot of people over there that you can see, you can watch. People like Nasto, people like Ayamarwa, people like Claudio Joseph, people like uh, Finding Ears. Finding Ears is one of the most smartest person over there because he keeps you updated, live updates. He gives you live updates of what, of what is happening. And that guy makes far more money by, than people who are even hustling for content just from live streaming you understand so there are a lot of people there that you can that my viewers can watch to stay updated in that village so why staying there when i know that i have there are a lot of people that can feed my audience the same content the same updates that i will give to them so i thought it wise it's time to go to a new country it's time to show my subscribers uh, new things so that why they are... You no, know, they said variety is the spices of life. Why they are watching Yabohanze from these wonderful creators like Mara, Nasto, um, uh, and Paris, Mihawi. Uh, there are so many of them. So why they are watching their content? They are also following me to see new things from a new country. We have to go to many countries as possible. Before the year runs out, we plan to go to Ethiopia, we plan to go to South Sudan, we plan to go to uh, Burundi, we plan to then early next year, we plan to go to India, we plan to go to Colombia, we will go to Haiti. So we have to keep on the move to show people new things so why they are watching these wonderful creators from Yabuhanze they can also stay updated watching other beautiful countries from my side so and uh, I really appreciate Ayamarwa for giving me the opportunity to actually boost my channel and showcase my channel my videos to this wonderful dedicated audience and I, I think it's time for me to utilize that audience by taking them on a beautiful adventure to something different. Yeah, I'm sure they will keep updated from these people I've mentioned so far. So let me keep them updated with something new, something beautiful. So if you're not subscribed to my channel, I will advise, I will beg, please kindly subscribe to my channel because we are trying to hit 100,000 subscribers so that we can leave Africa. I've not been to outside Africa before. I've still been traveling within Africa because traveling is expensive traveling is very expensive so we have to build a lot of audience uh, so that we can make enough money to sustain ourselves while traveling so kindly subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed kindly subscribe let us hit 100,000 subscribers by the time we hit 100,000 subscribers we'll start our international our international trips because we really have to visit every single country on this planet with my nigerian passport it is possible and it's going to happen so kindly support the channel if you're not part of my membership yet please kindly join my membership it's just as low as five usd it's lower than five usd um two two usd three usd please kindly subscribe kindly join my channel membership so that we'll be able to fund this beautiful adventure we're about to embark on. Yeah? So, uh, I hope I've answered your question on the reason why we left Yabohanze. We got to go. We've had, we had a lot of fun. It was fun being in Yabohanze. The experience will stick forever because I met wonderful people. I met beautiful people. They were, uh, they were ups and down, but above all, the good overshadows every other thing. So it's all about positivity. If you're going, I can assure you, go there with good intention and you will never regret it. Go out there and live your dream. It's better to try and fail than fail to try. With this, 
I want to say a very big thank you for watching this video and let me show you guys exactly what happened between me and the lady which I gave my clothes. For some of you who don't know, I, I just returned from Nairobi and because I've spent some days in the village of Nebohanze, I had to do some laundry, wash up my clothes as I prepared to travel. And uh, why giving out the clothes for laundry? I put a thousand shillings inside the clothes. So it's more like an experiment. And my promise is, if the lady which I give the clothes returned the clothes with that 1,000 uh, Kenyan shillings still intact, I'm going to double the money and gift it to her, which is 2,000. Her, her, her fee is only 500 USD, which is why I put something higher than that in the pocket, just to show you guys how beautiful and how nice, how truthful and trustworthy uh, most most Kenyans are. If you're just in the city of Nairobi, you can never know how wonderful Kenyans are. I'm saying it because I've been to many places in Kenya. I've met a lot of people from many tribes in Kenya. I can assure you that they share one thing in common that is trustworthy. They are very trustworthy, which is why I'm making this experiment just to show you what I'm talking about. So by tomorrow evening, before this video ends, I'm going to pick up my clothes from this lady and I'm going to show you whether she took the money or whether she actually returned it to me. She is representing the entire country now. And I'm sure, I'm very, very sure. I don't know why I'm too sure of this, but I don't know. That's because I've traveled, I've met a lot of Kenyans. Not just not the ones in the city. Most of the ones in the city are not the, actually the, the, the true, the true uh, representative of Kenyans. When you travel inside these places, inside these uh, towns and cities and uh, communities and villages, that's how you know how nice most Kenyans are, which is why I'm making this video to actually portray my point to show you what I'm talking about. So without wasting much of your time, let's go find out in the next clip if she returns it or not. Subscribe, share the video, kindly check the description box, support the channel in any way you can. You can buy me a, a pizza. There's a, there's a link there to buy me a pizza over there. There's a link to donate to the channel to support the travel. And uh, I promise you quality content as we tend to also uh, upgrade um, our camera gadgets. For the past three, four months, I've been shooting with my phone, my iPhone. That's to show you that the best camera is the one in your hand. Don't give excuses. Don't give excuses. So to motivate you, I have been shooting all, most of my, for the past four months, all the videos you see on my channel are being shot on my iPhone. Not the biggest iPhone, iPhone X. Yes, iPhone X. That's what I use to shoot my videos. But I believe uh, in a few days time, by special grace of God, we are going to be able to get a camera. But that's just to motivate you that use your phone if you don't have a camera. The best camera is the one in your hand. That's according to my, my film mentor, James Cameron. Yeah. Oh, it's ready. Yeah. Okay. Oh, they should dry it, right? Also. Yeah. That's good. Oh wow. That was fast. How much is the man ahead? This is my chief test cup. <laughs> nice. Mm -hmm. So you're taking this to back? Yeah. Wow. So guys, like as promised, she brought the clothes and uh, actually, like I told you guys earlier, 
Um, let me show you something. Let me show you something. Let me show you something. Actually, it phoned me, and after pressing it, this is my 1K. You see? Kenyans will not disappoint me. So, I got my 1K back, and I'm going to double it, as promised, and I'm going to give her 2,000. So, thank you for watching this video, guys. If you're, if you're not subscribed to the channel, kindly subscribe, and let me know what you think about Kenyans. Let me know your honest opinions about Kenyans. But for this one, as promised, the whole cloth is 500 Kenyan shillings. But I'm going to give out 2,500 Kenyan shillings. That's extra 2,000 for being honest. So, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Ciao. Madam. Okay, thank you so much for bringing it back.